you guys doing today? My name is Brady and welcome to another video here on the channel. Before I get into the video, I just want to point out that 98%, yes, 98% of the people tuning into this channel have not yet subscribed. If that is you, please be sure to subscribe. It helps me out tremendously and it only takes a second. But anyways, I've been gaming for probably 13 to 14 years now and I've noticed something probably in the past five years. That being that new games that come out just don't hold my attention like the older games do. In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys in my opinion why that is. Over the course of 10 years, maybe even more, you can say that the gaming scene has hit a decline in terms of quality. 10 plus years ago, we were accustomed to getting great games year after year. Games such as The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Red Dead Redemption, Dark Souls, and etc. Many would say we were in a golden age for gaming and we just didn't know it yet. And that is not to say that we have not gotten good games since that time because there are still sure classics being made to this day. I'm just saying that from a consumer's point of view, it is more rare to get a hold of a title that is going to suck you in for years with replayability such as games like Skyrim. And the question of this video is simple, why is that? There are a few reasons I'd like to point out, the first being that development studios are putting out unfinished games for sales, then over time making them a complete game that they imagined them to be in the first place. An example of this, my opinion only, is a game like Fallout 76. I personally have not put many hours into Fallout 76, though I know they have fixed it tremendously since launch. But that is my point entirely. When the game released with the Fallout title, consumers relate it back to games such as Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Classics of their time, games like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas were both complete and had hours upon hours of gameplay that you could dive yourself into. They were buggy, yes, but what Bethesda game isn't? These games had tons upon tons of unique quest lines that would grab and hold your attention. These games had choices that added replayability to games and character creation that gave each run through its own feel. Games like Fallout 76 though are put out to consumers incomplete and unpolished. I mean heck, how lazy can you be to even think about putting a game with no NPCs at launch and think that was going to get good reviews? Sure, they did add cool new features, but there was just no replayability in the beginning of the game's lifespan to draw and hold players' attentions for years to come. If studios would finish games before they came out, fans wouldn't get frustrated and leave a game out of frustration with the content given to them. Another big reason, in my opinion, are that studios are honestly running out of unique game ideas and content to give fans. Gaming has been around for so long that many of the games you want honestly probably already exist somewhere else. And honestly, if they are good, they probably have just been redone 15 times just like Skyrim. That is why old games have this replayability because mixed in with the finished product that you know you're going to get with old games, you can also get what you want out of story and functionality. This is not to say that new games cannot be made, it is just hard for games to come out that are unique enough that can hold new players' attention in with something that they haven't seen before or something that has done better somewhere else. A game that I will give credit to that has done this here in the past few years is Fortnite. It is a game that people have stuck with because it has a cool new concept and since it came out it has sucked players in for years now. It is a complete game with replayability that they are constantly updating. And the final and the most simple reason I believe is that a lot of people that grew up in the prime scene of gaming are getting older now. As sad as it is, a lot of us don't find as much joy in games anymore because we are older and have a lot more going on in our lives. So much stuff that doesn't allow us to sit on the games anymore for hours upon hours because we are just so busy. Whether it be with school or work or whatnot, a lot of us simply don't have the time anymore. Mix that in with the two reasons I said above, there just isn't a lot of incentive for us to hop on these incomplete games anymore that are just going to bore us compared to what we've had in the past. Nostalgia also plays a big factor because nothing is going to beat what we enjoyed in our childhoods and the memories associated with those games. I think that's why when I game, personally, I find myself always coming back to the same game titles or series that I had the most memories associated with. But that is all for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, you know the drill. Drop a like and a subscribe to show me that you guys are enjoying the content. And if you guys have any comments or videos that you want done, please leave them down in the comments below. But for now, this is Brady signing off. Peace.